That Girl, a popular television series from 1966, is a must-watch for fans of classic TV. It's packed with funny, shocking, and sad moments that'll keep you glued to the screen. But did you know there are many lesser-known facts and anecdotes about the show that'll fascinate you? Keep watching to discover them all. As you enjoy the series, think about how it might have impacted your life. Perhaps it inspired you in ways you never imagined or brought laughter during tough times. Share your cherished memories or personal experiences with us in the comments below. We'd love to hear from you. So, sit back, relax, and enjoy the journey through the world of that girl. There's a lot to uncover, and we're excited to explore it with you. Stay tuned for more fun facts and surprising tidbits about the show. In the late 1960s, a TV show captured the hearts of many, depicting the life of a relatable young woman named Anne Marie, played by Marlo Thomas. Alongside her love interest, Donald, portrayed by Ted Bessel, Anne Marie navigated the challenges of love, career, and friendship in New York City. Their dynamic, particularly showcased in memorable episodes like the one where Donald attempts to teach Anne Marie to drive his stick shift car, resonated with viewers. Despite initial aversion to marriage, the series ultimately culminated in Anne Marie and Donald tying the knot, a development that divided fans. Plans for reunion movies were halted due to Ted Bessel's passing at 64. Nevertheless, the show's opening sequences and theme song remain nostalgic treasures for fans like Stephen Steve G. Bear from Framingham, Massachusetts, who fondly recalls watching the show in the 60s. Stephen's personal connection to the show adds depth to his review, as he shares anecdotes and reminisces about memorable moments. In conclusion, the series remains a timeless classic, offering insight into the life of a young woman navigating love, career, and friendship in 1960s New York City. In the Rankin and base Saturday morning special That Girl in Wonderland, the Anne Marriott That Girl character made her final appearance in 1973, two years following the original series cancellation. Donald worked for Newsview magazine, while Ted Bessel, who portrayed Anne Marie's boyfriend Donald, remained close friends with Marlo Thomas. Unfortunately, Ted passed away in 1996 due to an undiagnosed aneurysm. He shared his chest pains with Marlo, who urged him to seek medical help, but it was too late. Ted's passing highlights the importance of timely medical intervention in such cases. The recurring gag of concluding the pre credit sequence with a character dubbing Anne as that girl wasn't meant to persist beyond the pilot episode. Initially deemed impractical to sustain, it surprisingly became a fixture in nearly every subsequent episode. In Season 1, Episode 11, titled What's in a Name? Anne ponders adopting the stage name Marie Brewster, drawing on her surname and hometown. An amusing twist unfolds when Don Hollinger is playfully labeled Hollinger Toledo by Anne's father, applying the same logic. Despite his apparent dislike for Anne changing her name, the geographical mismatch surfaces. While the implication is Toledo, Ohio, Don and his family hail from St. Louis, Missouri, a detail overlooked in the series' continuity. The opening train scene, a distinctive element of the show, was filmed at Secaucus Junction in Secaucus, NJ. The footage captures the train's backward journey, heading northwest before being reversed, creating the illusion of its approach towards Newark. Notably, this unconventional filming method explains the apparent backward movement of traffic on the New Jersey Turnpike. These nuances add layers to the series, blending humor with inconsistencies and unique filming techniques, contributing to the distinct identity of the show. The unexpected persistence of the That Girl catchphrase and the subtle geographic mix-up and character backgrounds offer intriguing glimpses into the creative choices shaping the series. In a special episode of the series, Marlo Thomas and her family members appeared together. One scene stood out when Marlo wore two fake eyelashes, adding glam to her character. Anne's place is at 344 W78th Street, which is seen as a lively address reflecting her city lifestyle. Meanwhile, David, a young boy she meets, lives at 89th Street, creating an interesting contrast between their neighborhoods. This difference shows how diverse the city's people are, a theme often explored in the show. The episode captures the essence of life in New York City, showing its lively atmosphere in different communities. It's a reflection of how popular and meaningful the show is. Viewers expressed dissatisfaction with the name Donald, suggesting Don would be better. But she portrayed Jerry Ballman's wife, Margie, in season one. However, she was replaced by Carol Ann Daniels as Ruth in Season 2. Later, she returned as Benita Lazal. The final episode originally depicted Anne and her partner's marriage, but Marlo Thomas objected, fearing it would imply marriage as a woman's primary goal. In a curious twist of fate, the title of that girl bore a striking resemblance to Batgirl, 
a character portrayed by Yvonne Craig in the Batman series. Yvonne Craig herself recalled a moment when she misheard that girl as Batgirl while waiting with other actors. This amusing misunderstanding unfolded as she witnessed Marlo Thomas walking to her call, realizing her error. Addressing a geographical peculiarity, while Anne's residence was cited as West 78th Street in one episode, the external shots depicted a building situated at the intersection of East 78th and the FDR Drive. Ted Bessel, widely recognized for his portrayal of Donald Hollinger, maintained a close friendship with Marlo Thomas until his passing. The two even contemplated a cinematic revival of that girl, envisioning a reunion of the main characters after 25 years rekindling a romance. In an unaired pilot episode, Anne and Don both work in the Seagram Building, 375 Park Avenue. Later, an animated version of the show aired in 1973 called That Girl in Wonderland. Anne Marie imagines herself as characters like Alice in Wonderland and Dorothy in The Wizard of Oz. Sadly, Lou Parker, who played Anne's father, passed away just seven months after the final episode aired in 1972, two days before his 62nd birthday. Marlo Thomas' father, Danny Thomas, occasionally made cameo appearances on the show. In one episode, not only did her father appear, but her sister, Ter Thomas, and brother, Tony Thomas, also had cameo roles. Anne's father, Lou, owned a restaurant called La Parisienne. There's a reference to that girl in an episode of The Simpsons where Marge says, well, you may not look like Ted Bessel, but you're just as nice. Ted Bessel directed many episodes of The Tracy Ullman Show, where both Marge and Homer were part of the supporting cast. Marlo Thomas, known for her role in That Girl, shared a deep love with Phil Donahue, as detailed in the book That Girl and Phil. The show, produced by Daisy Productions, subtly incorporated daisies in every episode. Initially, the 1966 season theme song featured an instrumental version, later replaced with lyrics. These elements added depth to the series, enhancing the viewing experience for audiences. During its run, the TV series featured three different opening themes. The first season had a subdued instrumental opening, while seasons 2-4 had a more upbeat, jazzy instrumental style. Lyrics were added in the fifth season's version. The themes were composed by Earl Hagen, who also wrote music for other shows like The Andy Griffith Show. In the original unaired pilot episode, Ted Bessel's character was named Donald Blue Sky, not Hollinger. He portrayed Anne's agent instead of a magazine reporter. Harold Good played Anne's father, and Penny Santon played her mother. Marlo Thomas, co-star of the series, remained friends with Ted Bessel until his death. She urged him to see a doctor when he complained of chest pains shortly before he passed away. In the series, the relationship between Anne and her father Lou mirrored Marlo Thomas's real-life bond with her father Danny. That girl and the Dick Van Dyke show share connections. Marlo Thomas's father Danny Thomas produced the Van Dyke show, and the creators of That Girl were head writers for the Van Dyke show. Both series were filmed at Dezilu Studios, occasionally sharing props. Some storylines from the Van Dyke show were even adapted for episodes of That Girl. Miss Independent was a contender for the show's title, inspired by Danny Thomas's nickname for Marlo due to her independent nature. In its fifth season, the TV show decided to show more scenes of Anne's apartment building and the city around it to make it more exciting for viewers. But after this season, the show suddenly ended due to disagreements among the people making it. Fans were sad and wanted more episodes to watch. Anne's apartment number 4D became important to fans because it was where many memorable things happened in the show. Even though the show ended strangely, people still talked about it and wondered what could have happened next. The show left a big impression on TV and the people who watched it, showing how stories can stay with us for a long time. Brewster, New York, where Anne grew up, played a big part in her story. The opening train scene was filmed at Secaucus Junction, showing Anne's journey. In the first season's credits, as Anne walks through Times Square, you'll spot Broadway marquees for shows like Philadelphia, Here I Come and Cabaret, giving us a peek into the lively theater scene back then. The series used cool filming tricks like reversing footage to make things look dynamic. It all adds up to make the show visually interesting. Marlo Thomas is best known for her starring role as the wholesome Anne Marie. She played the lead character in a popular TV series from 1966. The show follows Anne Marie's adventures as she navigates life in New York City, pursuing her dreams of becoming an actress. Throughout the series, viewers witness Anne Marie's struggles and triumphs, as well as her charming personality and determination to succeed in the big city. Marlo Thomas's portrayal of Anne Marie captivated audiences and solidified her place in television history. 
The series remains a beloved classic, remembered for its relatable characters and entertaining storylines.